Motion pictures have come a long way since the Lumiere brothers' historic arrival of the train in 1895. These first reels of film were shot in a small southern town close to Cannes, a city now synonymous with cinema. Since the 1940s, the Cannes Film Festival is where acclaimed films are celebrated. For 12 days, this Mediterranean resort is abuzz with stars, artists, studio executives, critics and fans. On the silver screen are art house films, blockbusters, shorts and animation from around the world. This year, two films screened at Cannes are bypassing theatrical release. Instead, Netflix will be streaming them on the internet and into a device of your choice. The U.S. streaming giant was jeered at one of the screenings and angered some French theater owners. Traditionalists want all feature films to be screened on the big screen before showing on smaller ones. Of the 19 films competing for the Palme d'Or, the Swedish satire The Square was chosen by the jury for this year's top award at the Grand Lumiere Theater. In second place was 120 beats per minute, winning the Grand Prix award for its depiction of ACT UP, the HIV and AIDS activist group. Sofia Coppola won the Best Director Prize for The Beguiled, her remake of the 1971 Civil War drama. Get him inside. Joaquin Phoenix won the Best Actor Award for his role in Lim Ramsey's thriller, You Were Never Really Here. And Diane Kruger won the Best Actress Award for her role in Fateh Akin's In the Fade. For 70 years, Cannes is where the art of cinema intersects with commerce. Celluloid dreams are now digital, and Cannes portrays the dynamics, themes, and politics of the day. Paul Chadurgian, Al Jazeera.